What I want to do now is show you a little bit how Themes Generator works. Uh, what you're seeing right now is a Welcome Hero image. Um, with Theme Generator, what you can do is you can start a site from scratch. You can use one of the themes or you can use pre-styled blocks. I will show you this in this video. Um, theme Generator is based on CSS styles. This means that you will learn CSS principles. I'm going to show you how this works a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open a theme. So I'm going to click on the load button and here are the themes that you can choose. And also you can open your own file, that uh, your local file that you are working on. But uh, as an example, now I'm just going to open a theme. It's called Autumn Theme. It's this one over here, so I'm just going to click it. Um, it just This is a warning that it will you, I will lose the current design, so I'm just going to say yes. This is Autumn Theme. I'm just going to scroll down a little bit so you guys see how this theme looks with the different sections. Okay, so I'm just going to scroll back up again. And here in Themes Generator, you will always see your designs on the left. The canvas will be on the left. And then the style manager and the blocks will be on the right. This is where you will be making the, the changes. So as I've said before, you can start, it, start your site from scratch from a white canvas. Um, you can start using a theme or I'm going here to this section called blocks. You have some basic blocks here, like for example, text that you will just drag out. And you can make some, you can make, make the changes now. You also have other blocks like the image, a video. You have some layout blocks here, which is important here, WordPress blocks. As you can see, I have a header separator here and down there were other blocks called footer separator and theme styles. These are, I'm going to show them here. As you can see, header and footer separator, they're kind of highlighted. Um, it's because you ha must use them. Rest of them are completely optional. Um, now here, while you're designing, you will see these bars. But once you export this design to WordPress, export this theme to WordPress, then it won't be visible. You just need them to, to, to convert it. We also have extra blocks here. They're actually the pre-styled blocks. Um, you can also design your own site by dragging out these this blocks. They're different pre-styled sections. So I'm just going to show you. I'm going to scroll down a little bit and I'm going to drag out here this image over here. We have more. You have footers, you have card blocks, stuff blocks, and even pricing blocks. Okay. I'm going to move on to the style manager. So here in style manager, what we're going to do is, is where we're going to make the changes. So I drag out a basic text block before. So what I'm going to do is go to typography and um, going to center it. Just going to change the color a little bit. I'm just going to use a random color and bring up the size drastically so you guys can see. I'm going to scroll down to the image here. So I'm going to change the image background. I'm going to upload a new image and open. I'm just going to select it and see how I change the image. And here inside our layers panel, we'll see all the hierarchy of all the elements in our design. In Themes Generator, you will be designing responsive sites. You will also be able to control how the, the site will look in different devices. Um, I'm going to just scroll up because I want to show you here. You can see desktop device, tablet, and you will be able to control how it will look. As you can see right now, I'm in a small device. I'm in a mobile device. Also, I'm going back to desktop over here. As you can see, whenever I, uh, my mouse is on top of one of the elements, it kind of like activates to show you which one um, you will be editing. 
and you can see some um, like a line, a dotted line, some guides that actually what you can do is show borders or you can hide them, show or hide. So you can also see how it will look without all all those lines here. The lines are just to help you to, to, to design too. So apart from show borders here, we also have a full screen option, the option to export to WordPress the design, um, to undo and to redo. We can trash everything. We have theme settings. We can save this theme into a local file and you can use and upload it whenever you want to work on it again. A load theme, we also have the user profile and then we're back to blocks, style manager and the layers. Before exporting our site into WordPress and see how it looks, uh, what I want to do is show you uh, the theme options inside Themes Generator. So these are the theme settings. Um, the thing is that in Themes Generator, you'd be creating your own theme. Um, what I mean with this is that uh, many professionals and many agencies, what they do when they design a site for a client is they get they purchase a template and they work on that template. So once you install this template and you'll see that it will link to the author, the template author, um, and, and nothing else. But actually here in, in Themes Generator, you will be creating your own, your own branding. So here in the theme options, you can change the name, um, change the author, and add a URL where it will be linking a description, a version, and even a thumbnail. So you will be making something that is really yours. If you design the, a site for a client, then you can make all these edits and it will always um, have your name and it will link to you. As an example, I'm going to leave the name in Theme Generator. I'm going to change the author name and give it mine. I'll leave this URL here and I'm going to type a description so let's say all autumn theme is a one page with um let's say it has five different sections okay i'll just i'm going to type a different version let's say it's version 2.0 what we have to do is just click on save the option so once i export this into wordpress then i will show you these small changes so let's click on save. After editing the theme options, I'm going to export the site into WordPress. As you see, we've added some text and uh, a new block over here. Um, maybe what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete this one over here. Also, the blocks, as you can see, you can move them around and you can also delete them. Okay, so let's export this to WordPress. This is the export button and click here export wordpress template and you will get a zip file so this zip file is the one that we are going to bring into wordpress once it's downloaded i'm in wordpress right now and i'm going to upload the exported theme so i'm going to click here on upload and get the file the zip file which is here in my desktop and i'm just going to install it and after this, uh, we're just going to activate it and we're going to preview how it looks. And as you can see here, it's well with the theme settings that we've been editing before. Um, this is what you will see. This is what I mean when you will be creating your own branding, your own theme. So the name is the same. Remember that I changed the version, which now is 2.0. My name, which links to the URL that you want and the small description here. Okay, so let's visit the site. This is the exported theme. So I'm just going to scroll down. You see we have changed this image here. We added this new pre-styled block. This is how the theme looks. Um, as if you remember, there was a header separator and a footer separator that was visible in Themes Generator, but as you can see, it's not visible here. Uh, we just need them to convert the theme into a WordPress theme, but here, once you export it, it's not visible at all.